Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial on pan pastels that I've bought recently two weeks ago. And what I did is I have made a um, well rough sketch of a medieval scenery of a castle and um, riders and horses that are going out for battle. And I've used a, a grey canson. Uh, pastel paper for this and the setup was made with uh, graphite and uh, fine liner and you can see the riders going out for battle in the far distance I'm going to use this drawing to demonstrate how quick and easy my new pan pastels work uh, they come in round cans and you can see it's ultra soft pan pastel it's uh, a very thick uh, pigment and they come along with uh, these knives and you can uh, get replacement sponges they tear out quite easily but you just replace them and uh, take a new one and what you can also do is have makeup uh, brushes and here I've stick one with a sticky tape on a pen so that works also and of course there are the rubbers for the bigger areas you can use if you want and you can fold them any way you want so those are quite nice too uh, this is just a small drawing so I will stick with that uh, knife it's a knife and the covers came in this package hmm, I'm quite happy with it and also they have uh, well some kind of plate where you can stick your pan pastels in I've only bought 12 to uh, get started and I also will be using my Cabotello Stabilos later on but that's uh, less important this is about the pan pastels and I am so happy with them I will uh, put this uh, setup in front of me and I will start demonstrating. Now, should you want to draw this, I'm not uh, going to draw this for this tutorial. You can uh, see this one on uh, Deviant Art, Deviant Art, and it was done with the graphite pencil and the fine liner by Stettler. So, should you want to draw it? just uh, take down the free download but now we're going to start demonstrating these palm pastels that I'm so enthusiastic about and I've taken a little bit of white here on that knife and what you can already see is how easily you can get a uh, well the start of the the, the the light that is coming from behind that castle. Now this is going real fast and all you need to do is softly place the knife on the pigments on your palm pasta and you can simply start uh, rubbing that into your paper. It does not dust and you can just go over it with your hand it will just stick there on that canson paper uh, the canson paper has a lot of grip and when you take a pencil eraser you can just get your drawing back so that's a nice detail too now what I want to do is to draw in a little bit of sky so here I've taken a little light blue and mid blue and I simply place it over the grey of my paper and it's just amazing how fast I get this sky put in some dark clouds put in a little bit of blue over it 
and um, well as the sun is coming from the right I put in a little bit of yellow I don't have much color to, come, to go from because I've only bought 12 and I I'm already regretting this so I will go back to the store this weekend and buy a lot more colors because I just love it it's fast it's uh, you um, instantly get an overview of where I want this drawing to go if I was to draw this sky in pastel pencils it would take me about well, maybe an hour while here with the pan pastels it took me 10 minutes no not even I think maybe seven so it's just amazing and also amazing how the colors blend in together so now that I have this sky standing I will continue and draw in the land that is way down below and as you can see I've placed some um, well, squares and, and a bit of um, perspective into that landscape and I just rub it in and because it's all in the far distance uh, the pompastels is ideal here in front there are some very rough boulders and I simply place over a little bit of pompastel to get the feel for where the sun is hitting the pavement and hitting those bricks on the side and I again get an instant overview of where the light is um, now here for the building itself I'm using white it's the lightest color I got so I need a lot more colors but I simply use that white to get the sunshine going if I had more colors I would definitely choose another color and here I simply put in a little bit of red and for the, the, the ropes that are over the horses and uh, the riders I simply also put in a little bit of the few colors that I have to get the feel of light and dark now the very important thing of this uh, drawing is that I made this set up in that ink so my drawing will stick there and that's quite awesome when you're new with palm pastels that you uh, get this mixed media and in this case because it is a medieval um, well landscape it's a medieval um, surrounding that mixed media of doing this in ink and pen pastel and later on the pastel pencils it instantly gives that medieval um, look if you like here you can see the sun coming from from the right so I put that into the soldiers that are going downwards of course and here I've taken my darkest pompastel for the shadows that are on the bricks on the right there's also some shadow on the left side of my soldiers and here on the left side of the building and what I did is I simply uh, draw in some rock and some ground so this is my setup and this really took me very little time 
And what you can do next then is to take your pastel pencils and use these um, for example for the parts that are in front of the drawing. And on the left side I've made a nice detail of a horse that is following the rest of the soldiers. And that horse has a, a big harness on his head and it's just a nice detail. And you can also use the pastel pencils to make those little sharp lines for the soldiers that are going down there. Make those spears stand out again or use it a little bit in the rocks on front, the bricks that are um, kind of a balustrade if you want. So the pump still and the knife itself uh, gives that rough and far distance feel. Well, in front you can use those uh, pastel pencils and get detail going. I will even put in a little bit of color. Now my pan pastel uh, is a set of 60 colors. So I have a lot of colors in that and I can use that for, uh, for instance, the colors of uh, the horse and uh, the rope that he is wearing. That's quite nice. I will put a little bit of pink on that nose, make it a, a very big and strong horse. And for the grass, you can also pick your pastel pencil and then uh, simply put in a little bit of green with a little bit of light gray over it and those rocks that are sticking out here. It's, it's getting quite like some kind of fairy tale now to watch. This is so awesome. You can light up the spears a little bit. And it's just amazing. Just by putting in that, that sky in the background and then um, going over that with the pan pastels and your pastel pencils. It's amazing. Uh, you will notice that when you work with the pan pastels in your drawing the ink lines will stay in place, so that's ideal but they will fade out a little bit because of the pigments of the pan pastel but you can just grab your fine liner again and simply go over the pan pastel if you want and that way you bring back your drawing again and you take out those little details by simply going over your original drawing. Now by this way you can make your drawing pop back and place in all little details all that you want but this is just a demonstration of course, but you can see the magnificent of that sky uh, way in the back and it's s such a soft feel and it's so much fun to do. Now I will leave it here up to you and please let me know in the comments what you think of it. I just love it and I will definitely be back with more demonstrations of the Pampastels. I've just had them for two weeks so I do not know enough of it but I'm sure I will buy some more colors so I will be back next Friday with another tutorial of course. I hope you will give this one a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again next week.